Alternative data is data that is used uh, to come up with an investment thesis that is non-traditional. And what I mean by non-traditional is typically in bottoms-up analysis or quantitative analysis, you look at a lot of the core company operating information to decide your investment and your investment criteria. When you start looking at the newly created data like social media data, uh, new economic data, and the sheer volume of data that's being created by the Internet of Things, suddenly you have data sets that are available that are deep, they're rich, they're interesting, but they don't apply to your traditional models. So we've loosely grouped all of this new data types and these new data sets as alternative data. I think what you're seeing today is a real acceleration in technology around the cloud, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and a lot of these technologies are dealing with two key aspects of data. How do I store the copious or huge amounts of alternative data that are being collected? And then how do I apply intelligence and computing power against that to understand if there's signals in it that I can turn into alpha? So you're really seeing investments in physical technology, storage, the cloud, um, AI and machine learning uh, to understand the models. And then if you add in real time latency type of information, how do I can get to those investment decisions quicker? Well, I think if you apply the same concepts, you typically will have model driven quantitative analysts using alternative data as inputs into models to understand returns uh, against uh, investment criteria. But also, if you're a grounds up or fundamentals investor, you can look at alternative data to get a more holistic view of what's happening in your universe. So in the case of maritime and trade data, even if you are a fundamental investment professional who looks at core financial data, you may be specifically interested in uh, supply chain of ships and shipping and tanker information and where physical reserves or oil are kept and how in making a decision about how the price of oil or the supply of oil impacts your uh, valuations or models of the oil chain major companies, the oil producers. Alternative data is critical to how IHS market has come together as a firm. When you look at the merger of IHS and market together, it was about taking various data sets that don't typically apply to financial markets and helping transform them and enrich them to make them usable for our clients to understand more about the industries, the sectors, and the companies that they're building investments in. So when you think about alternative data and the various sources, whether it's satellite information, trade data, defense data, suddenly you have a team of experts on the legacy market side of the business who can translate that, enrich it, and make it usable for investors in their investment process. So holistically speaking, the firm has been put together to take alternative data sets and package them up and enrich them for financial services organizations to make better investment decisions. You could say it's the core of what we do.